Okay, this is the last... I don't think it's a game, actually. It's like an experience. The last thing for today. Please. Please, Oculus made this last thing today. Because I'm done <laughs> with the bullshit. <laughs> Homestar VR. Uh... I think I actually saw this before on the store, but it was not special edition as it is called now. I think it is some sort of a planetarium simulator. Just stars gazing and... Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, we are in space. And Glando. What's my birthday? Ooh. Uh, okay, well... I'm 1995, uh, January 23rd. I guess this is any information for the channel then, <laughs> just in case. Home Planetarium Homestar VR Special Edition. Pocket. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think actually Homestar was before on the store, but it was like, I think something basic version. This seems like a very... Advanced, that's what they are trying to say. World Sky Time Travel Starry Sky Select. Okay, let's go with this then. World Sky Time Travel. Rotate the Earth with thumbstick. Press button to set a position. We can set position, but okay. Wait, so wherever we go. What do we do? Ah, we're gonna see the sky and uh, the constellations that are there based on the date and the hour, it seems. Latitude, longitude, yeah, date and proxy hour. It seems like it's rounding up to the full one. Hey, here's my Zodiac, Aquarius. <laughs> Doesn't resemble... Wait, this is a bunny, <laughs> Capricorn. <-y> <laughs> so mine is just... <laughs> Sticks. Date settings, display settings. Huh, this is kind of confusing what's happening. Okay, so maybe let's go to the... Red dots. Let's go to Europe and shit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is the same thing. Just constellations. Okay. Uh, let's go to Paris. Yay! Paris, France. We have Aquarius today. Ryugu and Hayabusa. Are those like stars that are like visible today? I guess. It seems like it. I'm not very into stargazing because pff, I'm busy. <laughs> um, but okay. Let's see. VR Celestial Planetarium. I was in the planetarium once in my life. But it not was... It wasn't that low quality. First planetarium experience. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, I choose English. Uh, what? VR Mmm, I'm confused what's happening. Wait, okay. So, yeah. Milky Way train constellation. Oh shit, I think the, the, those were subtitles there. I mean, uh, voiceover. Not at the bottom, this... Uh... Yeah, narrator... Oh. <laughs> Male, female, English. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Okay. In today's VR Yay. Celestial Tour, 
will set out to explore night on the Milky Way train. The Milky Way train was ridden by Giovanni and Campanella in this Japanese children's story. Mm -hmm. Let us jump into this curious and wonderful tale right now. So this is basically a planetarium this simulator. Milky Way station, Cygnus, oh, is shit. the first on this train journey. The station is clearly marked by the super bright Deneb. Uh -huh. mm, it's almost time to depart. But don't rush. Running on the platform can be dangerous. Well, let's move on to the next stop on our trip. Take a look. Can you see the large cross in the sky? Uh, yeah, I also my the neck is just hurting. Let's form a large cross-like shape. There is a custom of offering a prayer to this light. Okay. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I know what this game is already. It's basically if you don't want to go to the planetarium yourself and you don't want to pay for one time, you can just revisit uh, this application in VR and you're pretty much in the same situation. What the fuck, we have unlockables? <laughs> How? <laughs> By listening to the narrator full time? Okay, I wanna see the uh, landscapes. Oh, this one is seems cool. What's happening here? Why the screen is like blurry? It's like when I move. It is like I'm like drunk or something. Oh. Oh, this is the simulation. Yeah, because it's basically sky spinning with stars. Okay. Mm. I wanna. If there would be like northern lights, I would. Like be very excited because that's my favorite kind of um, environmental kind of event. Wait, there's no the water. <laughs> Why do I hear this? Or am I on water? Or I, maybe. Give me more speed. Yeah. Let's spin this shit. <laughs> so I guess this is pretty much just like, you know, you know, you're just simulating you stargazing in the night or wherever you are. And then if you if you can't leave home, I guess this is for that. <laughs> but this experience was for 25 euro mind you oh it's getting brighter or am i just going crazy oh shit i'm starting to spin uh no screw this wait do you so something more okay yes finished <laughs> um as I said, I think this is worth any money if you're actually planning to go to the planetarium. But are there people that go more than once in their lifetime? I Because I don't think. <laughs> I feel like planetarium and the stars are something that you check out once and I'm like, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> um, You know... The thing is that just finishing my closing thoughts on today overall, uh, those all of those games seems like to be like Japanese uh, or like Asian, just like imports. Thing is that uh, they are usually way, way more overpriced than it is. I noticed it immediately when I played Tokyo Chronos. Tokyo Chronos was forty euro, which was at the time was the most expensive game on the store. Uh, I think there was just one game that was the same price, but I don't remember what. Um, so, you know, 
it is not very converting the price, the effort, the quality to the Western kind of um, part of the world. So for me, if you're looking for a good kind of Asian or like Japanese VR game, it really like gets down to the nitty gritty. And there are like very few good ones. Uh, from today, I would say the best one is Space Channel, but I'm biased <laughs> because I'm a dancer, so whatever. I think the worst is arguably between Hatsune and Homestar, but I'm pretty sure Hatsune I didn't like because I'm not a fan of Hatsune, that's why. I'm just looking at the gameplay and the gameplay looks, looks cheap. But on the other hand, I would not pay 25 euro home for Homestar. I would pay ma uh, those money that I paid for Space Time for sure. For Res, uh, I guess. Not for me though. Little Witch Academy, I wish that it would be more like visual novel. Or maybe it is. I mean, maybe I will play it more. Mm, not really sure. But uh, overall, today was um, eventful. So let me just go die in sleep. Bye. <laughs>